Hello and welcome to Red Live. So the revelation that Mama Jackie was a fraud came as a huge surprise to everyone after she had contributed so much to society, gaining international fame and recognition. Her story is a good illustration of how good and bad cannot coexist. After all her good works, taking children off the streets, helping the traumatized ones have a better life and providing education for those who had no one to take care of them, which earned her the name Angel of Soweto. Now her evil mechanizations were exposed and all the charitable efforts have been forgotten. Being selfless and charitable was able to earn her fame and accolades but was not enough to make her immune to the wrath of the law when the time came for her to be held accountable for her actions. Now before we get into the crimes that sent Joop Joop's mother Mama Jackie to jail, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. So we will begin at Mama Jackie founding Itudeng Trust in 1997. So Mama Jackie founded her school Itudeng Trust in 1997 in Soweto. The goal of the school was to help and encourage as well as cater to the educational needs of the destitute and victims of crime. While the school existed, it served as a place of comfort for children who had been raped or abused. Now the school, which she claimed had a 100% graduation rate, was a source of inspiration to over 6,000 students. This made the South African hero, Nelson Mandela, call Mama Jackie the Angel of Soweto. And when Charlie Ebersol, a TV and film producer, visited the school in his junior year, he was so touched by Mama Jackie's benevolence and charity work that he promised that he would come back and do a documentary film about Itu Deng Tra School. Now, he did return in 2005, but this time with a team made up of his wife, Susan St. James, his friend Kip Kroeger, and brother Willie Ebersol, and together they produced the documentary dubbed Itu Deng Never Stop Learning, which premiered in 2006. The documentary made Mama Jackie's work even more popular to the extent that it was featured on the Oprah Winfrey show in February of 2006. It also won a few awards, including a Crystal Heart Award at the 2006 Heartland Film Festival in Indianapolis. In 2001, about 45 students from the Itu Deng Trust School appeared before the United Nations in New York to make a plea to the world to help which caught the attention of former US President Bill Clinton. Oprah Winfrey was a major donor. After Charlie Ebersole made the raw tape for the Itu Deng documentary in 2005, he sent it to Gail King for his input and somehow the work found its way to the American talk show host Oprah Winfrey who was King's best friend. Once it got to Oprah, she knew she had to see things for herself and was looking forward to meeting Jacqueline Marohanye aka Mama Jackie the next time she visited South Africa. So be that as it may, the opportunity presented itself when the US talk show Queen came to South Africa on a different business and found time and found time to visit the Itutang Tra School. On getting there, it is reported that Oprah was treated to the gory accounts of the societal ills the students had suffered. Seeing and hearing all the stories made Oprah wonder how children could go through that and still seek to thrive in life. She encouraged the kids to turn their pain into power and would later donate over $1 million in support of Mama Jackie School and Charity Project. Now after that, several individuals and corporate bodies also followed Oprah's lead in her show of support, especially as the E2 Deng Trust began to gain the much needed publicity. Hollywood stars, political figures, sports celebrities, and global business brands, including top hotel chains, all sought, all sought to identify with the Mother Teresa of Deep Kloof and her school projects. Individuals and organizations who reached out to the Itu Deng Trust School in donations, scholarships, and sponsorship include US TV show host Oprah Winfrey, former South African President Nelson Mandela, former US President Bill Clinton, Hollywood actor Brad Pitt, US comedian Chris Tucker, 
NBA star Dikembe Mutombo, Sun International, the US National Basketball Association, as well as the US taxpayers. Mama Jackie exposed as a fraud by her own students. Now, in the same year that Oprah Winfrey donated 1.14 million US dollars, some former students from the Ituteng Trust who were interviewed on Mnet's Carte Blanche program narrated how Mama Jackie asked them to lie about their circumstances to the media and to sponsors in order to gain more sponsorship. These students decided to tell all when they realized that the promise of a good education made to them was a farce as their school fees were not being paid by the Ituteng Trust. Now the students revealed in a 30 minute carte blanche program that everything they had said about the death of their parents, poverty and hunger was scripted by their principal, Miss Marohanye. Now the carte blanche investigation also covered the fact that Mama Jackie failed to meet up with the tuition fees of her students despite the huge sums of monies she received on their behalf. It revealed that Parktown College had at one time sued the school over its failure to pay tuition. The University of the Western Cape was also reported to also have unsettled financial business with the Ituteng Trust School principal regarding unpaid fees. Furthermore, the show went on to reveal that the students who appeared before the UN in 2001 were sternly urged to cry hard while they narrated their fabricated story so to attract more sympathy from donors. This information came as a big surprise to everyone. Now, as a result of all of this, Mama Jackie started avoiding the media and the police. Mama Jackie was fined for kidnapping. Now at this time, Mama Jackie was also facing two different court cases for theft, assault and kidnapping. It was reported that she, with the help of Roni Nyakale, had kidnapped Simpiwe Ngongutu from his home and taken him to the school where he was assaulted and made to walk naked around. Now unfortunately for Simpiwe Ngongutu, Mama Jackie was sentenced to four years imprisonment or an option of an 8,000 rand fine which she paid. Now soon after this, Mama Jackie stopped granting press interviews and even became hostile to men of the press. It is reported that Mama Jackie allegedly assaulted Vusin Lovu, a Sowetan newspaper journalist and his driver who tried to have an interview with her. The Angel of Soweto was finally jailed for child trafficking. As Mama Jackie's pack of cards was seemingly crumbling down, it left her with no respite. The exposition of her maneuvers to dupe the international community in the guise of helping children was just the beginning of the fall of her empire. Her public denials and the goodwill that she had generated in the past seemed to be foiling every attempt to nab her and hold her accountable for her actions. Certainly, Mama Jackie may have hoped that the attacks would eventually go away and life would return turn to normal. However, that was not going to be the case as her problems had only just started and the theft, kidnap and assault case was only the tip of the iceberg. In December of 2015, she was convicted for child trafficking after she was accused of selling a six-year-old boy and a girl who was a month old to a childless couple for 15,000 rands each in 2012. Now, the couple who thought it was a legitimate adoption paid her the money but were unable to get legal documents for the adoption from her, so they had to go to the magistrate court to seek help. Now, in her defense, Mama Jackie claimed that the money she collected from from them was not for selling the children but rather donations to her school and because she didn't know how to read or write she signed the adoption confirmation documents with the mindset that it was a thank you letter for the donations however it does seem that the judge did not buy her story she was also convicted for running an unregistered orphanage in 2010 the social service department had noticed that she was running an unregistered orphanage and had to take orphans and children who were a 
abandoned away from her center, after which she was advised to register her orphanage. Now, in 2014, the social service department discovered that Mama Jackie did not heed their advice and that she still had orphans and abandoned children in her center, even after being warned four years ago. In 2010, now in a bid to defend herself, she claimed that the workers at the social service department did not allow her to register because they were envious of her popularity. Once again, the judge did not buy her story because it was established that she had been warned previously. Mama Jackie sentenced to 12 years imprisonment. Unfortunately for Mama Jackie, this time around she had to face the full wrath of the law. In January of 2016, Mama Jackie, who was 61 years old at the time, was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment, of which 5 years were suspended. This meant, this meant that she would only be in prison for 7 years. Mama Jackie was also banned from having anything to do with children for five years after her release date, including taking care of the neighbor's children, according to the judge. According to Judge Mohammed Ismail of the High Court in Pretoria. Now, explaining his judgment to Ms. Morohanye, Judge Ismail said that the sentence was a lenient one because he took into account the good work that she had done for her community by giving less privileged children hope for a better future. He also said that he knew she was not a criminal character, but he had to send a message to other people that may want to go beyond themselves to act against the law in the same regard. So yes, currently Mama Jackie is in prison serving her jail term. And what may have started out as a genuine act of charity has become a tale of deceit, lies, and deep-rooted regret. Mama Jackie raised four children including hip-hop star Joop Joop. Jacqueline Morohanye is popularly and affectionately known as Mama Jackie by the public, especially her children. She also goes by the moniker The Angel of Soweto as she was called by the late former South African President Nelson Mandela. Not much is actually known about Mama Jackie's upbringing, however she and her husband were blessed with four children including Mulemo Morohanye, a South African hip-hop artist and TV presenter who is popularly known as Joop Joop. Mama Jackie and her husband raised their kids in Orlando East Soweto before the family eventually moved to the southern suburbs. Now currently her son Joop Joop is trending with some allegations that have been leveled against him. And also in the trends is Mama Jackie as there is an audio of her defending Joop Joop. She called me, I'm Lela Hore, she's expecting twins. Agai ma twins ao. Agai ma twins ao. So, askato ike tatli ni mo, askato ike tatli. So, who ya ena sex that she was having for two years? She calls it horiki rape. Aibo, and then abadu lelang. She had parents. Why couldn't she report to her parents? Her parents stood up ba buledi case. And then all abo be do ko tuinki maschab. Kiba tla it describe and kuyak. I describe kamo kharin tlo ka e e jwa nga ke re o re o raipetse mo mogakamo I describe and tlo ka ndia mfuna ndia mfuna ndia ifuna leo ntomba zana ke mo batla mo ke mo khweshini ibile o ka rakatsa mayalo a a a a a ya ko a ya nkoteng a expose ge and he past ba mo tsibela ntse ko ba gona no the internet e shapa gona ya no ba mo exposer ka dintho tsa gagwe he past Oh, or in Yanaki cousin. I gave a cousin you. Cousin, you met for Amanda to point to Abu Ebelihona at Hakela. I give a pulling like it's a nearly any of my relatives because of Tabaya Horomolemo or Epilanabon. Upanetuko or a report of the parents in Zahare, Baripote Mona, Adula, and a Kibato de Siba de Dieta Hetting, the Rapite. Dieta Hetting, the Rapite, why Basabula de Case, Kanako Eu. Why was a bullet case? Over in Kimashaba, ask him papel. I'm a link in the Leon Tombazana in papel. Ask a link and say, I got papel and a lemoya work. I came to be from a bar of soap, one papel. I try to describe and try to get a rule. I describe your camera is one. 
I describe, I will publish the pictures so how my house looks like after Abu Ileye and Ahur on a repel or come a ring a thing. The color ya better and a repel or moyona in the Ilish one. Now, I will say this. When it comes to this particular audio, I don't know how it came out. Did she, you know, record it in prison or not? But yes, ladies and gentlemen, those are the crimes that sent Jup Jup's mother, Mama Jackie, to jail. Now, if you did enjoy the video, can you please do me a huge favor? Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.